What's up everybody? OpenSea has launched their pro platform and it's essentially a blur 2.0. I think an airdrop is upcoming. As I said, we're keeping score. We are keeping track of your activity on the platform all aboard they did do an nft airdrop which was given to gem nft users of their gem platform um, i use OpenSea every day so it's kind of sad not to get one and get rewarded it's kind of why i think as well we're gonna get an airdrop they are battling blur head on with this score as well as you know people are taking advantage of all the rewards and the airdrops that blur is giving and uh trying to rank up their score so this is a a clear battle between OpenSea and Blur and will OpenSea reward its users with an airdrop that everybody's waiting for uh, patiently. It's been a long time. So the Pro OpenSea platform, it's an aggregator of 170 different marketplaces. It has a ton of features. In this video, we're going to go over everything that you need to know and how to use the Pro OpenSea platform. So first thing is you want to sign up with your wallet. Uh, easy MetaMask and then at the front page you have trending collections so you can change anything here uh, by top volume top sales highest volume change you can search for the collection of course you can actually put a minimum and a maximum floor price uh, so you're just looking at whatever you want and then you could toggle uh, the time as well so looking at the collections in the last 30 days with the top volume in the last seven days 24 hours six hours they they even have as low as an hour 30 minutes five minutes and one minute if you really want to degen and see what's minting out um, or what's the highest volume in that minute you can actually change the view as well and mentioning that you can go from dark and light mode right here and then you have your gas options at the bottom you have the pro or the collector view and we're gonna be on the pro view because we're pro traders right um, so moving forward here's the watch list we don't have anything right now so anything that you're collecting any uh, NFT collection that you're you know looking to buy or buy or trade you can add it so we can add the Nakamigos other side Azuki mutant API club you know the board API club not a fan of clone X not gonna lie pudgy penguin HV uh, you get the deal so when you go to watch list maybe every morning you can take a look at what's performing the best in the day uh, maybe your nft collections that you're looking to sell uh, all of it right here under your watch list pretty uh, common for any nft marketplace your collections here are the nfts you own you can take a look at everything from the last uh 24 hour sales the volume your floor price all of that great stuff and here's a cool feature it's the open sea pro sweeps so you can look at accounts and this is all live data that are literally just sweeping the floor and picking up these nfts so you can see five sweeped here from bali.eth 12 3 6 um, three right here this was five minutes ago and this was ten right here so you can see all the sweeps live and you know you can base a trading strategy off this or buy those nfts if it's like a prominent buyer or a, you know a, a blue chip wallet that's sweeping these floors uh, it's definitely a cool option if we go back to here we have our watch list as mentioned we have the mints here and this is mints that are live you can toggle to free mints and paid mints and you can actually mint live on uh, pro.openc which is crazy I don't think any other nft platform has done that so with the most popular mint right here other deed expanded and other side vessels this is where you burn your other sides and you actually get this so it's like a closed mint we won't be able to do that you can see all the information right here so parts is minting right now it has 310 out of 200 million total mints you have a uh, block here at 120 to 3000 mints and then robo migos the Robo Migos is a thousand out of four forty five hundred mints. Also on the right side here, um, you have a ton of information which I wanted to note out. You have seventy one seventy five minters, and here is cool where you can see notable wallets. So you can see all the notable wallets um, from Smart Minter. Also, these wallets may be holding blue chips. So you have Smart Minter, Smart Minter. You might have blue chip wallet uh, holders 
and you can see all that right here so of course a larger notable wallets number gives you more confidence on that nft collection so here you have this is the airdrop from OpenSea, 2400 notable wallets if i saw a large number right like that i'd probably want to hop in uh, in that collection of course i'm not speaking of that airdrop 180,000 mints and it was free so if we go to something that we could mint now and that's free we're just going to pay gas you can see that the funk amigos has 10 notable wallets we can mint uh, right now so let's go ahead and do that we're going to mint one funk amigos um there's so many derivatives of the the original so let's go ahead and mint that we're going to mint one agree to the terms and you can see it's free plus gas i wanted to show you guys with the gas right here you could change it to fast and turbo which gives you a higher probability when you're racing against other people to mint um so if you want to have your uh gas on turbo all the time then you're more than likely will hit those mints uh hit those buys before most people will. So let's go ahead. We just minted a Funk Amigos right off the OpenSea platform, which is honestly really cool. Um, this will help a lot of you know collections mint out uh, quicker in my opinion, because you have thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of people using OpenSea, and now they can actually mint your collection. So minted successfully, we did that. Uh, you can see the amount of ETH I paid, and minted successfully we can go to my profile right here and see the funk amigos so with the profile um, you have everything right here from your total collections how much the total value is my highest um, valued nfts and you can take a look at all of them so if we go to ghost boys for example that's a cool one um, we'll wait we'll let this load up we can go right here and um, you can actually list them as well. So if you wanna list them, I don't think I have them listed, we can just list them so we go through the whole tutorial. So right here, I can set the price. I'll just do these listings as like 0 0.5. That's my, that's not my rare, that is the rarest one actually, I think. So you can take a look at all the traits right here. You can see the rarity, so 1200. Uh, 200 on others, 1200, 1500, 16. So I'll put this one at 1 ETH, 30 days. And you can see the fee right now is 0%. The creator fees, they're not changeable on this uh, collection, but we'll do 1 ETH there, we'll do 0 0.5 here, and we'll do 0 0.69 here. So you can see all these listings right here. This is everything you need to see. I could do global floor right now, but I'm not going to do flo uh, floor. Global creator fees, you can't change that. And then 30 days, let's do 180 days. So I don't need to come back at this, apply. And then you can see the amount of ETH I'd get if this sold, 2.04 ETH. We're going to sign, start this listing, pay a little bit of gas to approve them, and then I can have them listed for 180 days and as i mentioned with the the score you want to probably do as much listing bidding buying sweeping which i'll show you how to do everything we just minted um so we're listing these and i'll probably list all of my nfts um that i want to get rid of or just put prices i'm happy with just in case they reach there so We'll go ahead and sign that so listings are published um, and you can take a look for most accurate data check your listings across marketplace things view listings right here and bam so you can also see in your profile if we go back right here you have items portfolio listings all the offers and then your activity so you can see here my total collection worth is 1.1 value uh, 1.1 eth total spend 72 eth and then my sold gains is 7.2 eth every exchange calculates it differently i know if you send out an nft it takes it as a loss on this platform um and then moving forward um that's a really cool profile you can view everything uh and i i, I really like this pie graph right here as well but if we go to the actual uh, buying and selling and placing bids, we're going to move on to that. So we minted. Now if we go to, let's say uh, we wanted to sweep something or just buy something in general. If we go back to trending collections, we are going to do the airdrop right here, Gemesis. 
and it is 0 0.03. So I'll show you guys everything you need to know about buying, putting bids, and all that great stuff. So up here, you have all of the general information, number one trending, how many items minted two days ago, uh, ranking in progress. Here you have market uh, information. You can see uh, you know, some of the highest sells. You can go 30 days. Uh, and we can see the top sales, all the listings, um, the floor depth, sales and price, and you can, you can see the top holders, you know, the whales, uh, top performers, top mentors, top sales, top holders. So this guy's holding 891 items and it's worth 26 ETH. Um, he's holding 21 ETH worth 700 items. And you can see all that information, top uh, performers, the people who made the most money with this collection, top mentors, and top sales. So one actually sold for 100 ETH, and I think that was a fat finger on Blur, which is crazy. You have the recent activity here from listing, sales, off, uh, offers, mints, and you can actually remove these and you know look at just sales, for example. So these are the last ones selling 27 seconds ago, all under a minute. Uh, uh, so it's a very uh, popular collection and uh, you can put a collection order which we'll do after but down here you can sweep you can do a one-click buy so instant buy right there and then uh, you're buying a lot quicker than most people this is actually taking pretty long okay I have to do a signature request so let me cancel that okay let's do a real one-click buy one-click buy oh wow it was a lot quicker last time gas is 21 bucks okay i'm just doing this for an example and we'll see if we got that oh you see so this is 0 0.229 i'll just buy one of these purchasing 14558 for 0 0.029 let's go ahead oh i actually successfully purchased that so I, uh, I'm not going to buy another one. So that was a little bit slower than uh, I, I thought it would be, honestly, with the one-click buy. I thought that it would just prompt my MetaMask transaction a lot quicker, but definitely a lot slower than, than I thought it would be. Anyways, here you could do a sweep. Um, you can just type in the items here, or you could literally, I think it's it's a lot funner if you drag it. And honestly, I thought you could do more. I think you could do up to 200 items. I could be wrong, but I, I uh, do remember dragging it a lot further than the 100. I think this might need to load up. Uh, no, okay, yeah, so 200. You could do, uh, maybe you could even do more. So you can sweep a lot more than you can on other marketplaces. You can sweep up to 200. That would be boss. <laughs> on like a 10,000 collection, you sweep 200, um, insane. So if you wanted to do a collection offer, which I highly recommend, you never pay the asking or the floor. If you're paying a lot for a collection, like three or four ETH, put in a lower bid. You're more than likely will hit it. So right now you can see I don't have any wrapped Ethereum, but if you click this, super easy, you can come here and you can wrap your Ethereum. So let's say I wanted to do 0 0.5 wrapped Ethereum. We're gonna go ahead and pay a small fee. I would actually recommend to do the exchange within your MetaMask, because if there's a MetaMask airdrop, you're getting some points there as well. So We've just converted half an ETH into wrapped Ethereum. So now you can see our balance is there right now. And now we're gonna go ahead and make some offers. So um, Loud Punks, which I highly recommend. I did a video on some NFTs that I'm watching. Um, this is a great collection. I'm trying to put some bids on it to get it cheaper because I really think it'll do well. So collection offer, 0 0.5. You can come here and do different traits as well. So select trait. They actually don't offer trait bidding this specific um, this specific collection. And that's why I use OpenSea because I'll just have to manually do it. So you can see 0 0.5, size 1, expiration 10. If you wanted like 10 of them, it would charge you 5 ETH, which you can see um, I don't have currently. So we're just going to do the one for 10 days. We'll do up to 30 days. And then we're going to put this bid on here. The expiry date must be 28 days. That's fine. Apply 28 days. Approve offer. 
Um, and then we could go ahead and put this bid. And the beautiful thing about bidding with your wrapped Ethereum or pretty much bidding on any platform is you can put multiple bids and then when one hits, it'll use that Ethereum. So if we go to um, another, you know, another great collection, zero and one, it is a floor of 0 0.81. This is also awesome. So I'm going to do a 0 0.5 bid as well. And we are going to do an offer on that as well, because that's a steal if I get it for half an ETH and um, the loud punks as well. So as you just saw, I used the same amount of wrapped Ethereum, I have multiple bids now, and whichever one hits first, whichever one of the floors moves its way down um, to 0 0.5, I would get my bid accepted, hopefully. So another cool thing that I saw is they show you the reported NFTs now as well as you're buying from different platforms, and you make you can make the decision to buy it or not. If you click it, it actually pops up suspicious item. You can't trade this on OpenSea. Do you wanna buy anyways? And I actually like the freedom that it allows you to see them it allows you to buy them and this is an aggregator to give you the best price um, and I think that's pretty much everything we went into how to do uh, offers how so if we went to like board ape I believe their collection offers allows you to do traits so yeah so if you wanted to do traits um, you can go into exactly the trait you're looking for and you can go into you know uh, more rare items so for board ape if we went to fur and if we went to the rarest fur solid gold right here and applied that um, that would be the rarest uh, trait for fur and you would actually be bidding just specifically on those and going back to um, a f uh, any collection here this is another Yuga collection uh, as mentioned you have the rarity here you have the price the owner and you can see when they listed but also, if you wanted to specifically look at it by traits, you can come here and click traits and you can look at, for example, if they have companions, you can start looking at those. So from the 1.89 floor, now you're looking at 4.39, uh, 4.45, 4.55. So we've added this specific trait. Um, so we can come here as well and we can add uh, the legendary. No, that wouldn't work. We can add the holo. So now you're looking at companions and holos at 20 ETH. Um, so you can pretty much customize everything, look at everything however you want from price to trades to you know volume to you know buy now. Pretty much do whatever. Uh, OpenSea Pro is very clutch. There's some things that um, I'd like to see. For example, is uh, still bidding on single items through the collection instead of do doing whole collection offers when the traits are turned off and there's just other smaller things. So I'll be using both platforms pretty much interchangeably I'll be using this uh, for like my bulk buying and selling and just looking at information that's not on the OpenSea platform and I'll do the uh, the OpenSea platform for manual bidding and if I want to look at it in more of a collector than a pro view so if you have any questions uh, post them below I'll also be giving a random NFT uh, to somebody in the comment sections. So make sure to post your favorite NFT, your favorite collection, whatever it may be. And like I said, there may be an airdrop. So don't slack on this. Just keep working on, you know, bidding, sweeping, buying, selling, and of course profitably so we can earn a huge airdrop. And if not, OpenSea will have let a lot of people, including myself, down. Um, so if you have any questions, as I mentioned, put them below. I'll see you guys in the next video.